Hey guys, it's Nick at Home Snacks. Today we're gonna really dive down and see what it's like living in Cary, North Carolina in our unboxing a city series. Cary's been called one of the best cities to live in America and we wanna see why that is. We're gonna talk about everything from crime, weather, schools, things to do, cost of living, how successful residents are and the job scene. And we'll even take a look at what people are saying who live in the Cary area on forums and chat rooms. So sit tight as we unbox Cary, North Carolina. Cary's population is 160,000 people and it's a suburb of Raleigh, North Carolina. And many publications like Time Magazine have said Cary is one of the top places to live in the country. Here's that article. As you can see, Time Magazine called it the fifth best place to live in the US. And so right now we're gonna dive in and we're gonna look at Cary's crime statistics. So as you can see, Kerry has an A plus for crime. That's really good. Um, if you look at some of these numbers, the national average, you have 2,700 crimes per 100,000 people. That might not mean a lot to you guys. But if you look at Kerry, it's 1,139. So it's a lot less than the national average. There were zero murders in Kerry last year. Robbery, assault, burglary, theft, and vehicle thefts. These are all much lower than the national average, which, which is really good. So if you live in Cary, you can definitely rest well at night knowing that you're safe, which is awesome. Now we're going to look at some Cary weather statistics because weather is really important for people that want to move somewhere. And as you can see on this chart, um, in the winter, the average temperature is in the 50s and 60s. That's really mild. And the only problem you're going to have in Cary is probably June, July, August, especially July and August. You can get, it can get into the 90s. It can be really hot and humid. But other than those two months, it's actually really nice in Cary. Cary gets about 43 inches a year in rain, which is a decent amount. It's actually been raining in Cary a lot more than that lately. But believe it or not, people say cities like Seattle get a lot of rain. Well, Cary and a lot of North Carolina actually get a lot of rain too. In the winter, Cary gets about seven inches of snow a year, which isn't that bad. It usually comes in one storm a year, and then you get you know, an inch or two here or there. But if you don't like snow, Cary's a good place to, to be. And if you do like snow, you, you get a couple days in the winter that you can go out and play in the snow. And then it usually melts within a couple days. However, because it snows so little, people in Cary don't know how to handle it when it does snow. Look at this snow apocalypse picture from a few years back. The biggest problem here are ice storms, which are tough to drive in, but really people? And since there are so many transplants in Cary from the Northeast and Midwest, you'd think people would know how to drive here. One of the most important things people want to know are school quality when they move to an area. And as you can see here, the scores for Cary schools are really good. You've got a lot of 10s, 9s, and 8s in the Cary area, which is really good. The high schools have an 8. The junior high school has a 10. So if you go through and you look at some of the statistics on the school scores, you're gonna see some really good numbers, which is a good sign. And then if you wanna look at the funding per student, so Cary spend on average far less than the US national average. And I think the reason for that is because Cary schools don't have to spend as much on af after school programs and on school lunches because most of the kids in the Cary school district aren't as poor as a lot of other kids around the country. School kids in Cary are definitely spoiled if you ask me. An important factor when you move to a place is going to be the types of things to do. And in Cary, there's a lot of stuff to do, especially if you like to go to parks or you like to do hiking. Um, there's not really mountains in the area, but there's a lot of open areas, a lot of space for people to do hiking, and there's a lot of parks in the area. I think one thing that people really like about Cary is that it's so close to PNC Arena, which is home to the NHL Carolina Hurricanes are there, and that's only a few miles from Cary. Uh, the NC State basketball team plays at PNC Arena. There's a lot of concerts and a lot of events at the NC State Fair, which is right near Cary. So there's a lot of stuff to do throughout the year in the Cary area. And of course, you're near Raleigh, which is a booming town. Raleigh is one of the most up and coming cities in the country. Cary is probably 10, 15 minutes away from Raleigh. So you have a ton of stuff to do in Raleigh, Chapel Hill, Durham, and you can even be at the coast in about two hours. In terms of bars, if you look on a map, there's gonna be bars and restaurants all around. In fact, you could probably drive in a circle if you wanted to hit up all the different bars in the Cary area. And in terms of restaurants, you can see that there's 
everything from Mexican to sushi to Mediterranean to Pakistanese to Bangladeshian. So part of that's because there's so many people from all over the country that move to the Cary area. So the restaurants cater to the diverse population. Now let's look at some of the cost of living numbers with Cary. And I think what you're going to see is the only knock on Cary is the cost of living. You can see Cary gets an F for cost of living um, because it's so expensive to live in Cary. I mean, the national average on a scale of 100 Cary is far more expensive to live than the U.S. average and far more expensive than the rest of North Carolina. Everything from you know, health care to transportation, utilities, a lot of that stuff's going to be more expensive. If you look at the average home cost in Cary, it's around $360,000, which is far above the national average of $216,000 and way higher than the rest of the state. So if you live in Cary or you want to move to Cary, you better have some cold, hard cash, buddy. Here we're going to look at the what we call the success score of residents, where we're going to look at how educated and how successful the residents are. And if you look at the education numbers in Cary, you're going to see that 95% of residents in Cary have at least a high school degree. 60% or more have a four-year degree, which is more than double the national average. And you've got a lot of people who have higher degrees in Cary, master's degree, professional degrees. So everybody in Cary seems to be on it with education. And as you can see, the medium household income is close to $100,000. So there's a lot of people in Cary that make a lot of money. And they have to in order to live here. If you live in Cary, you probably feel like a superhero. If you wanted to look at the job situation in Cary, I think you're also going to be impressed. The income per capita is far higher than the national average. But if you look at the income for folks that own homes, it's $117,000 a year. That's a median household income. That's really high. The unemployment rate is not even 3%, and that's really low. And the poverty level is 6%, which is far lower than the U.S. So there are not a lot of people in Cary that are struggling. Another factor that you can measure is the type of jobs that are in Cary. So I've done a quick little search based on the number of jobs for $65,000 or more. And you're gonna see a lot of technology jobs. You're gonna see stuff like, you know, there's a university nearby, Epic Games, that's a video game company. If you play Fortnite, they're based in Cary. You're gonna have a ton of jobs for coding and developers and designers. There's a lot of technology in the area. It's one of the fastest growing technology places in the country. So there's gonna be a lot of great jobs in Cary that pay a lot of money, 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 money. And another way to tell what it's like to live in a place is to look at the forums and the chat rooms to see what residents are saying about their hometown. Right here, this person is saying that it's a lovely community, no gaudy billboards or advertisements to get in your face, great restaurants, good schools. There's a lot of artistic and cultural renaissance downtown. So, you know, the more you dig, the happier you'll see people are in Cary. You know, I love Cary. It's a great place to raise a family, nice shopping centers, parks and greenways. So. That is a good sign. And you can also go to city data if you want to look and see what people are saying based on just the topics of the threads. So you've got somebody posting, Carrie's about to get a whole lot funner. That's better than Carrie is about to get a whole lot more boring, right? People are talking about which restaurants they went to. There's an Apple campus moving to the area. There's a lot of conversations about where to get, you know, services done and which restaurants to go to. So what you don't see in the chat rooms are people complaining about Cary is not a great place. I don't like Cary. Don't move here. It's bad. You see good stuff or a lot of interaction, which is a good sign. So overall, Cary's a great place to live. It has low crime, great schools, and a lot to do in a small area. It's really growing fast. In fact, it was called the fifth fastest growing city in the US. If you can afford to buy a home here, then we think you'd really be happy with Cary. It passes with flying colors. Thanks for joining us. That was Cary, North Carolina Unboxed. I hope that was helpful for you if you're thinking about moving to Cary or you wanna know more information about Cary.